is powerful. Imagine how creating music affects children. This is where I focus my research. One aspect that we, we know, I think it's very universal in most of us. Like music, enjoy music. It's a universal form. And we know that music itself is valuable, just the enjoyment of it. But one thing I like to look at is how does it transfer to other cognitive domains and other aspects of life? Therefore, I would also point out that the importance of music was recognized way back all the way from the times of Plato, who himself said, I would teach children music, physics, and philosophy, but most importantly music, for the patterns in music and all the arts are the key to learning. studies, uh, researchers such as Schlaub uh, and his colleagues 
have done look at the brain even before and after studying music. And one quite interesting change that has been shown with students, children, especially the younger, if you're around uh, five, six, seven, the brain is particularly plastic. Of course, the brain is plastic our whole lives, but it's particularly plastic. And they're, they were tested before, both their grades and their music ability. And after years, of uh, two years, he's continuing it, of study, the corpus callosum actually thickened, which enables faster transition between hemispheres. Takže byli psychologové, psychologové, kteří provedli výzkum na dětech, které studují uh, hudbu a zjistili, že to ovlivňuje vývoj jejich mozku, a to konkrétně kalózní těleso, které se zahustí a umožní tak uh, lepší propojení mezi oběma hemisférami. A to se jmenuje u dětí, které 